hello student now we copy the figure of following gasket on autocad software overall length of the drawing 20 plus 20 plus 40 80 millimeter overall width of the drawing 20 plus 20 plus 10 50 millimeter okay first we draw a rectangle 80 into 50 by rectangle command here in this figure this is 40 this is 20 this is 20 and this is 20 this is 20 this is 10 and also this is 10 this is 10 and this is 10 this is also 10 this is also 10 okay now click on offset specify offset distance 40 enter click on the line specify direction now again click on offset specify offset distance 20 click on the line specify distance okay now again click on offset select object specify direction again click on offset specify object specify direction okay this is 40 this is 20 this is 20 this is 20 this is 20 this is 10 okay now this is 10 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 okay again offset command select object specify direction again click on offset specify distance 10 again click on offset specify distance 10 now click on team command select window selection enter team this object team this object team this object now we stretch the this line stretch this line click on this object stretch again select this line stretch this stretch this okay again we click on this line stretch this ortho on this portion click on team select object enter select object to team now back this portion click on back command 
specify first point specify second point okay now we bake this line from this point to this point now click on this line click on stretch command okay now click on this line click on stretch command click on stretch command again stretch this line stretch this line now click on this line stretch this line stretch this line okay now we draw this circle we draw this circle we draw this circle we draw this circle okay now click on circle command specify center point press d for diameter diameter of the circle 25 now click on circle specify center point radius of the circle 2.5 diameter 5 press d type 5 now copy the circle click on copy select the object enter specify base point specify second point of displacement specify second point of displacement okay now we draw this corner fillet radius 20 this corner fillet radius 10 this corner fillet radius 10 this corner fillet radius 10 and this corner fillet radius 12.5 okay now click on fillet type r for radius radius 20 enter now select first object select second object okay again click on fillet type r for radius type 10 enter specify first object specify second object again click on fillet same radius click on first object click on second object again click on fillet select first object select second object same radius now this portion fillet is 12.5 click on fillet command type r for radius radius 12.5 enter select first object select second object okay now types of line this is center 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 line okay for types of line in properties toolbar in second by layer click this arrow click others click on load now select the center line okay now okay now current the center line click on line command this is 
the center line now click on match property select source object select destination 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 object okay now we dimension the figure this is 40 this is 20 this is 20 this is 20 this is 20 this is 10 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 this radius fillet radius 20 this fillet radius 10 this fillet radius 10 this fillet radius 10 this fillet radius 12.5 okay given the dimension this is the dimension toolbar first click on linear dimension specify dimension line location specify second dimension line locations next click on continue dimension specify second extension line origin specify second extension line origin enter now click on linear dimension specify first extension line origin specify second extension line origin click on continue dimension specify second extension line origin specify second extension line origin enter now click on radius select arc specify dimension line location again click on radius select arc specify dimension line location again click on radius dimension select arc specify dimension line location click on radius dimension select arc specify dimension line location okay now click on circle click on arc or circle specify diam diameter dimension now click on diameter dimension select the circle specify dimension line location now click on linear dimension now click on diameter dimension click on this circle specify dimension line location again click on diameter dimension specify dimension line location now click on linear dimension specify first extension line origin specify second extension line origin again click on linear dimension specify first extension line origin specify second extension line origin now click on linear dimension specify first extension line origin specify second extension line origin click on continue dimension specify second extension line origin again specify second extension line origin enter now our drawing is almost complete it is clear my student